The Institute on Disability and Public Policy was launched this morning at Thailand's Mahidong University through partnership between various universities and institutions around the world to offer world-first graduate courses on disability and public policy. Presiding over the unveiling ceremony were the representatives from Thailand's Mahidon University, the School of International Service of the American University, and the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy of the National University of Singapore, as well as senior officials from disability-related institutions in the United States and Southeast Asia. This includes Privy Councillor Tanin Graiwishian, who is the president of the Asia Pacific Development Center on Disability, or APCD. The Institute on Disability and Public Policy, or IDPP, offer graduate programs through a new technology known as cyber learning, which will enable students to participate in academic activities as well as research from anywhere in the world, making new inroads into public policy learning in the realm of disability for the ASEAN region, supporting governments and other partners across Southeast Asia. Cyber learning is a concept that comes from geographically distributed collaborative learning. How do we use information technology to create an environment where students can work together as if they're in the same physical place, but they could be located anywhere in the region and anywhere in the world. And, and just like students can be located anywhere in the region or the world, so can the faculty. So we talk about that as a cyber learning uh, environment. And what's revolutionary, I think, is taking that cyber learning model and applying it to a specific graduate school focused on specific issues. In this case, the complex intersection of disability and public policy issues so that students focusing on those issues can come from anywhere in the world uh, and, as, and be taught by world-class faculty from the region and around the world. Eventually, the IDPP will expand its network to other outstanding universities in the 10 ASEAN nations to make students with disabilities become leaders in their respective fields. 31-year-old Mohamed Joni Yulianto from Yogyakarta, who is currently a public policy graduate student at Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy in Singapore, voiced his support from this new cooperative endeavor. And it is very important for me because in the future, in my view, is that disability is not something like a specific issue, but it's very, very cross-cutting issue, very related to other issues. And then it should be part of the mainstream in the policy creating process. Initially, IDPP will accept 25 candidates from around the region, some of which will be sponsored financially by the Nippon Foundation. Admission is expected to begin in May. For more information, please log on to www.asianidpp.org.